Greetings to you in the sweet name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on behalf of JTK TV. Today's Bible verse is taken from James chapter 1 verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Let us pray. God Almighty, we thank you for your word as we meditate on your word. Give us the grace to follow your word, which is wisdom. Because when we follow your word, Father God, we are filled with peace. Our activities are filled with wisdom. Everything that we say and do is so right and good when we follow your words. Help us to give heed to your words. Help us to identify the areas which need change in our lives. Help us to change ourselves. Fill us with the peace that passeth all understanding. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. James chapter 1 verse 19 Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath what a powerful word of god what a powerful piece of advice let every man be swift to hear that is a commandment here it's a wonderful piece of advice for our lives most of us are so swift to speak because we are filled with thoughts we are filled with opinions and therefore we want to just pour it out. There are many people who speak to an extent that the hearer is almost irritated. To the extent that the hearer wishes to escape. We have also these experiences there have been some people in our lives who talk so much that we want to just escape. Probably those words were wise. Probably those words were good. Yet, when the talking is too much, we do not have the patience to listen. But most of us talk so much. We receive so much within ourselves, the knowledge of the world, the opinions of the world. We receive so much through all the entertainments that we have throughout the day. We watch a lot of stuff. And as we watch, we hear a lot of entertainment, a lot of opinions, a lot of news, a lot of knowledge from people we don't even know. And then we want to pour it all out. And every time we look for a person, we usually look in order that we may communicate, that we may speak. Very rarely we have called someone or spoken to someone just to listen. There are people to talk, but there are very few people who wish to listen. Talking does not involve a lot of patience, but listening does involve a lot of patience. People are ready to talk. There are many people who can talk for hours together, but can anyone listen for hours together? And we want to be in the talking place. We want people to listen to us. We don't want the listening place. We don't want to be in that place where we are the listener. We are thinking that the person who is talking, that the orator is the superior one. We have failed to understand that the listener is the superior one because that involves more work, more patience, more concentration, more compassion, more empathy, more love. So, the listener is superior, but we have been thinking that the speaker is superior and therefore all of us wish to speak. All of us wish to just pour out our opinions on others. 
We do not want to listen to the opinions of people who are there with us. This attitude has stolen away the warmth that are in relationships. There's a warmth when people are listening to us. We feel warm when somebody is listening to us with attention. But sadly, even in loving relationships, listeners are few. Even in loving relationships, people do not want to listen. People do not have the patience to listen. The reason might be the innumerable entertainments and the innumerable distractions that are around us. But the warmth is lacking because the listeners are lacking. The warmth in a loving relationship is extended by listening. Haven't we experienced when somebody really listened to us with attention? When they were really listening to what we said, we felt respected, we felt grateful. We would not forget that moment when somebody warmly listened to us. We would probably remember those people who listened to us with warmth. We are communicating daily about work with the people who are with us about our daily responsibilities and duties. But there is a warmth when there is a personal communication. Today, we are unable to talk about what we are thinking about, what is our opinion and so on, because we know that people would not have the patience to listen to what we are thinking. The people would not have the patience to listen to how we are feeling today and so on. We know that nobody would have the patience to do that. Today this warmth is lacking. There cannot be a loving communication, there cannot be a loving relationship without listening. But the aspect of listening is failing even in loving relationships, even in homes, even within families, even within friendships. This communication is lacking. We might be having fun, but the warm relationship is what is lacking today because we fail to listen. Everybody wants to be the speaker here. Speaking has given more contentment than listening and there's a competition here to speak. Because the speaker is considered superior, some people are longing for people who would listen to them. The longing for love is there. The longing to have someone who would listen to us is there. We do remember some loving souls who listened to us when we were young. We would never forget that. Probably many of us would never forget those teachers who sat down and listened to us when we had a sad face. They took the effort to identify a sad face and they would have spoken to us and that would be unforgettable. We would not forget those people who identified that there was something wrong and they were ready to listen. In this world, there are many young people and many children who want to be listened to. They want to share their sorrows and they want to share their joys. It is not just sharing others' sorrow that is important, but sharing others' joys are also important. When there's nobody to share somebody's joy, when there is nobody to listen to somebody's joy, 
then that person is going to start to have a lot of things to feel sad about. Let us just imagine there's a person who met with success and praise outside his home and he is coming so happily home and when he's all excited and is communicating about his joys and there's nobody to share that joy in his home, he is going to be disappointed. If the people in his home are going to show him a cold shoulder for all the praise, for all the appreciation and for all the honors that he received outside, he is going to be disappointed and then he is going to be filled with sorrow. Which sorrow then he'll have to share with somebody? It is not that the sorrows are to be shared. Sometimes there is nobody to even share the joys of people. Communication is lacking today. Listening is lacking today. Listening is a wonderful ministry. Listening is a wonderful aspect of love. It is a very important characteristic of love. Therefore it is written, let every man be swift to hear. Not just ready to hear, but swift to hear. We ought to be in a race to go hear, but we are in a race to say something all the time, to give an opinion all the time, to give a criticism all the time, to give an advice all the time. We are not ready to listen. And how much we have given trouble to other people because of much talking. Why does man talk so much? Have we thought about it? Because this human mind is always filled with thoughts. The thoughts keep rotating in the mind all the time. Even when we were sleeping, we would say that we were thinking about something. Sometimes it becomes a dream and we are able to easily tell what we were thinking about when we were sleeping. Or at least we would say that the mind was busy. I felt that busyness even in my sleep would be our confession. Since this thought, the mind keeps operating all the time, since the mind is filled with words all the time, with imaginations all the time, and all those imaginations are in fact filled with words, when we imagine something, we immediately tell it out in a sentence or a phrase, at least in our mind. And if there's a person with us, we would convey what we were thinking about. Sometimes we do not convey. It depends upon the person's character. But since our mind is always filled with thoughts all the time, we are unable to keep it within ourselves. Therefore, we want to communicate the best pieces of those imaginations, or of those thoughts, of those opinions, which we have in our minds. And then we have a kind of satisfaction that we got it out. There are many people who become depressed when they are not able to share their opinions, when they're not able to share their thoughts. Very few simple thoughts, the day-to-day -day thoughts, some people are unable to share with another person. There's nobody they are able to talk to and they have an unsatisfaction within themselves and they start feeling lonely and they start feeling depressed. An important reason for depression could be lack of a listener in our life, lack of an empathetic listener in our life could be a reason for depression, could be a reason for the loneliness that we feel. Many people are feeling lonely today. They might be having a lot of people around them, but they do not have enough listeners. Today, the listeners are lacking, and that is an important reason for the tremendous amount of loneliness, tremendous amount of depression and sadness in human lives. Very few people are able to give that warm feeling that warm connection. Very few people are able 
to give that trust that they are concerned about us. We are unable to trust anybody because we don't think that anybody is concerned about us. We don't think that there is a sympathetic relationship in this world. We don't think that anybody feels compassion for us because there's nobody who's listening. When there's nobody who's listening, we start to think that we are not worthy enough to be listened to. Probably what I am thinking about is not that important. Probably I'm worthless, probably my words are not wise, probably my words are not important, probably I am not important, are the various kind of thoughts that would come to a person who does not have a listener in his life. Many joyful situations have become reasons for depression. As I said, that when joys are unable to be shared with, then those joys themselves become sadness in a person's life. Therefore, it is very important that we all start listening, not just listening to entertainments, not just listening to a television program or listening to the internet. That's listening is not what we are talking about. That kind of listening has its own place. But we are talking about literal one-to-one -one listening, which is lacking in families, which is lacking in homes, which is lacking among friendships also, which is lacking in society in general. Nobody wants to listen to someone for a long time. We would expect those around us to tell us something very shortly. We demand that people communicate in just a few words. Don't we remember in our young days, in our English classes, we were asked to write an essay in just 100 words and we would pick the words to make our essay very small and very precise and within 100 words that we have experienced in our younger English classes in essay writing. But such is the attitude today even among relationships. We want people to tell what they want to tell in as short language as possible. We do not want a person to say something again and again. We want the sentence to be so short as so we are that busy all the time. We get angry with people who would be little elaborate. We don't have the patience to listen to two more sentences. We would expect that person to be so precise. We would expect a person to select the words and make it so short. We don't have the patience to listen a little more. A few seconds more, we lose our patience. We have been angry with people for speaking a little more, just another sentence, and the person would be blasted. Even in homes, even in loving relationships, a person cannot tolerate a little more of talking. A person wants everything to be so precise, and it has become a very official manner of talking. Nobody wants to listen. We have understood that people do not like to listen and many of us have adapted other modes of communication. We know that if we would call someone and talk to that person, the person might get irritated. Therefore, now we send messages, we send mails. And even in those messages and mails, we try to make the sentences so small and so apt so that the person is not irritated so that we don't test another person's patience. We know because we ourselves are in the same way we would know that a person would not like to speak for more than a minute and therefore we have adapted other modes of communication and these modes of communication have been so successful because it speaks without the other person listening to that torture of listening we would call 
is somehow eradicated by all these popular modes of communication because none of us want to listen to anything and we understand another person's thought also and we do not disturb another person by making that person listen to something because now listening has been considered a disturbance all of us know that and it has become a part of etiquette a part of manners to not talk much to not make a person to listen to anything we would not give that pain to another person because we have started considering listening to be pain itself none of us want to listen and this is a dangerous place to be when we examine ourselves we will confess that we probably do not wish to listen to anybody there are people we love but we don't want want to listen to that person listening is lacking so much in the society today and it is very dangerous the aspects of communication of person to person is deteriorating little by little and we know that we ourselves are unable to communicate one to one with a person it has become very easy to speak but even talking one to one has become a delicate situation we are starting to feel uneasy to talk because we know that listening has become difficult and this uneasiness to talk to one another makes human relationships itself very embarrassing and uneasy talking and listening have become some very rare occasions it has become some rare work even within friends we think so much before talking we wonder if we would disturb that person we wonder if that person would like or not we wonder if we would be considered worthy we wonder we wonder we wonder and then we finally stop talking and this is a very dangerous thing to be relationship between humans itself has become very uneasy too courteous too professional everything has become professional even within families the communication is becoming professional and that is a dangerous place to be that warmth will be completely gone if we are so afraid of listening and talking listeners have to rise up and we have to start listening to people in every relationship we have to now try to break that barrier that fear of talking and the fear of listening that barrier has to be broken and we have to be swift in hearing we have to be people who are swift in hearing we can be slow in talking let the other person do the talking we need not get irritated when a person is talking a little bit more a little two or three sentences more need not irritate us there are entertainments that are so boring sentences and sentences and sentences unwanted sentences for hours and hours so boring lack of warmth but we would listen to all that stuff but those people around us who wish to just talk to someone is not listened to we are not that busy and we are not that important that everybody has to speak in a professional way that pride is in every heart now we are unable to speak to anybody for a little more time because they would think that their time is so valuable and that the speaker is now stealing all that time and this pride is another important reason for the lack of listeners in life let us identify within ourselves many of us are filled with this pride we expect professional approach from everybody even from our family members we expect that professional approach speak in a sentence one word answer 
or one word question is what we want. We do not want to listen to more than that. Lack of patience could be a reason. Pride could be a reason. There are many reasons for why we have become like this, but it's time for us to start listening to people. There are people who are depressed because they do not have anybody who would listen to them. There are people who are longing for somebody to listen to them. They are filled with so many opinions, thoughts and feelings about themselves which they would like to share with someone and the listeners are not there. In loving relationships, people want to be listened to. But this aspect of listening is lacking here in relationships. And now let us take the stand. Let us become people who are swift in hearing. Let there be warmth in every relationship that we have in our lives. Let us listen to someone. Let us now open our eyes to those who are around us, to those real people who are around us and let us give our ear to them. Let us become listeners. Let us become patient listeners. Let us spread love wherever we go to because listening is loving someone. Let us pray. God Almighty, we thank you for your word. We repent, Master God, because we did not listen to those who are around us. We kept talking. We did not listen to anybody. Now give us the grace to be swift in hearing. Help us to listen to someone, whatever they might be having, to share about their lives. Let us be the people who are there for them. You love us. You're always listening to us. We expect us to keep praying unto you because you want to listen to us. This is your nature, listening to your loved ones. Help us also to possess the same nature, listening to our loved ones, listening to everybody who is around us. Give us the grace to be swift to hear. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.